Thanks to Android's open source nature, there are a lot of variants of Android. However, stock Android is the pure form of it. It's what Google has to offer. Well, there's a lot to like about stock Android. There are some great features that it lacks when compared to the likes of MIUI, Oxygen OS, Samsung Experience UI and more. What's up guys, this is Rupesh from vbomb.com and today I'm going to show you some really useful features that stock Android lacks. Before we get started, make sure to hit the bell icon to get notifications for all our future videos. Now that you've done that, let's get started. If you're like me and you install a ton of apps on your phone, uninstalling them one by one can be quite a task, a tiring task. Sadly, stock Android does not let you uninstall multiple apps. MIUI and other Chinese ROMs as well as custom ROMs let you easily select multiple apps and just uninstall them in one tap. Yeah, it's that easy. You can uninstall multiple apps via an app for rooted devices, but I really hope this feature comes to stock Android soon. Yes, after all these years, stock Android still lacks a native app locking feature. Sure, you can get various third-party app lockers, but they just don't work as well as you'd like. The fact is, almost all third-party skins and ROMs like MIUI, OxygenOS, etc. come with native app lockers that work very well because they have been integrated right in the OS. Sure, Android includes some subtle gestures, but I really like the ability to set custom gestures on OnePlus devices. In Oxygen OS, you can set custom actions like toggle Wi-Fi or flashlight or open an app by writing letters like O, V, S, M, etc. on the screen. These gestures even work when the screen is off, which makes it very, very handy. Then there's the fact that most ROMs out there let you access the notification center by swiping down from anywhere on the home screen. While on stock Android, you have to swipe down from the top, which can be very tough if you have a huge phone, like this one. While you can get these features via third-party launcher apps like Nova Launcher, a native functionality would work way better. Apart from these gestures, various custom ROMs also let you set custom actions for long press and double tap on the navigation bar icons, which is again a very handy feature that I'd love to see on stock Android. Well, you can always customize stock Android with launches, icon packs and whatnot. As of now, it lacks a native theme engine that is part of almost all other custom Android versions out there, be it MIUI, Samsung Experience UI. All these custom Android builds come with a theme store and unlike what many think, there are some great themes that you can just download, apply and voila, change the look of your phone in a jiffy. If not a theme engine, at least Google can include native icon pack support. Well, a man can hope. While night mode made its debut with Android 7.1, dark mode or a dark theme is something we have been clamoring for what seems like eternity now. The thing is, most custom Android skins out there feature a dark theme which not only looks great but also saves battery if your device has an AMOLED display. Yes, Google can't seem to figure out a dark theme for Android. There are some private files on your phone that you don't want anyone else to see. And this is where the secure folder feature part of Oxygen OS and Samsung's UI come in. Secure folder locks all your private files inside a password or fingerprint protected folder and make sure these files are not available in other file managers or apps. While you can hide files through various apps in stock Android, again, it's not the same. Scrolling screenshots is a feature that was first introduced by Xiaomi and now it's making its way to OnePlus devices as well. What this feature does is it lets you take long screenshots by scrolling down on a page which should come really handy if you want to send screenshots of a long chat and you don't want a clutter of multiple screenshots. As you might have guessed there's no such feature on stock Android. You can try out the stitch and share app for the same functionality 
but it does not work as flawlessly as you'd like. If there's one thing I like about iOS is the ability to back up the whole device via iTunes. Unlike Android, iTunes lets you back up everything, be it media, contacts, apps or settings. Sure, stock Android lets you back up various data, but it's still not close to the full-blown backup solution that is iTunes or iCloud. Rooted Android users can back up everything via Titanium Backup or other backup apps, but not everyone roots the device. That's not all, there are several other features that stock Android lacks, like a gaming mode that boosts performance while gaming and also mutes notifications. Then there are features like double tap to wake, network indicator status bar, download accelerator, dual apps, etc. Well, those were some really useful features that stock Android lacks. I'd love to see these features coming to stock Android in the next few updates. Well, here's hoping. What are the features you'd like to see in stock Android? Let us know in the comment section below. Also give this video a thumbs up if you liked it and subscribe to our channel for more amazing tech videos. Well, that's me signing off. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one.